Today I'm going to be talking about creating your own website using Weebly.com, which is a free way to create your own website and it's very user friendly. So I just kind of want to walk you through real quickly the steps. I think you'll see how easily this can be done. Um, Weebly is great for classrooms that want to have their own website to share pictures in like a, a blog kind of way. But if you don't, if you don't um, want to use blogs, or you don't know how to use blogs, this is a little bit simpler way to do that. Also for teachers or anyone that wants to have an e-portfolio, this is a great site for setting that up. So once you go to Weebly.com, which I'll put the link in the blog post, you will need to set up an account. And to do that, you just need an email and a password, and then you'll come to this screen after you set up your account. Again, it's all free. We're going to click on Site. And the first thing that comes up is all the different themes that you can use. And there are tons of them. I just want to point out that when you put your mouse over some of them, you get different color options. We'll just cl click a simple one here. And then the second thing that comes up will be your domain name. What it what is <clears throat> excuse me what is the address that people will go to to visit your website so you can type anything you want in here as long as it's not taken then you can use that so we'll try Aggies 123 and that's available so um, as long as this says available here so you can see that Aggies is already taken but if I add something different so my website would be aggies123.weebly.com um, a little bit of an advanced option is if you want to have your own domain or if you already have a domain and you want it hosted there it gives you those options already but the free way to do it is just to have them hosted on the Weebly website here so I'm press continue and then you come to your dashboard where you kinda create your site so this is what my website looks like right now the site name is my site I have these three pages up here at the top on my website and I have some social media icons. So we'll start with the social media icons. All you have to do if you want people to connect with you via these different social media icons, there's Pinterest, Yahoo, YouTube, there's tons of different options, but you can also remove them if you don't want them up there. So it's easy as that, you can put your email in there. And um, when people click on it, then it will be taken to there. So I'll just leave the email up there. I removed all the other ones. If you wanted to add more, you could easily do it just by clicking on them. The site name is easy to change. So we'll call it just what it's called, Aggies123. You can also turn that off, option off or just put a logo up there if you just want an image for your um, header. Then you get down to the main part of the website. You can see all these are called elements over here on the left. So you can put text, you can put images, slideshows. A few of these options, I think the ones with the stars, are only available on the paid part of Weebly. So if you were to get a pro account, you could add HD video and audio. But you can see most of them are free and able to put them in there. So before we start creating this home page, so you can see we're on the home page here, I want to go up here to the top to pages and just show you that here's the three pages that I have. They can be changed at any one, any time. So I could call this... Um, class pictures and this one could be called homework and if I wanted to add a page you would just add I, I would add standard page unless you have a specific reason to do these other ones and then you can title it whatever you want so we will call this news on there so you can see we have four pages when you click on a page you have options on how you want the page layout to be so this one has a tall header with a picture in the middle. This one would be a picture with text beside it. So we'll, we'll keep that one for there and press save and edit. So you can see that that's what comes up and I could edit this image here and put any image that I wanted in there. So let's go back to pages. We'll go back to home. Home has no header, which means it's just by itself. And if you wanted to put something in there, you just drag and drop it. So now I can upload an image. Just grab any image there. So you can see it's uploading on there. And then on the side of it, you can add whatever text that you want. So 
it's as simple as typing like a document. And then this text can be highlighted and edited just like most um, word type documents. So I can change the color. I can increase the font size. I can make it bold. We can center it. Different things. So it looks just like a word document as far as this box is concerned. And then if you want to add other things, I know for a classroom, you might want to add a gallery of pictures so you can upload multiple images and then that would be played in a gallery. So we will go to back to pages here and so we kind of worked on our home. We can go to class pictures. Let's say I want the class pictures to have the short header here and then I could just edit this image and put whatever image I want in there at the top and that image would always be there when they went to the site. So it's uploading. So I can pick the part of the picture I want to use. These tools that you can see here, the crop tools, and um, you can add effects. So it has a lot of little built-in features. We will just use that as the um, header for this page. So every time someone comes to this page, they'll see this picture, and then I could put other elements in here. Um, the contact form could be very useful. I know the documents and the file forms could be very useful if you want your kids watching certain YouTube videos, like for classes that are doing flip learning, that can be added. There's a lot of other options down here for you to add different things, but you can see it's really as simple as deciding what you want to add to your page and dragging and dropping it on there. So here's a slideshow. I want to do this one. And then you upload the pictures. And it creates that slideshow for you. I can't think of anything else that I did that was any more difficult than that when I, when I created my Weebly site for my master's course. It really is created to be kind of a drag and drop and simple. If you've never created a website or never created a blog, this is a great tool to start with to kind of get your feet wet. If you have any questions or comments on Weebly, please leave them in the blog post and I will try to answer them the best that I can. And I appreciate you watching. So you can see here's my slideshow that I can change and I can edit the different things with the slideshow.